Hey YouTube, we're here with the first place winner at the Anaheim Regional. So Channels takes the win for the entire tournament. Congratulations to him. We bring you guys a second place deck profile from Anaheim Regionals. Uh, there was over a thousand people at that Regionals. One more Jolteon in top 32, so Ryan Canales made top 32, so... What's going on YouTube? Brian Canales once again. And in today's video, another Max Rarity deck profile which is my favorite segment because I get to show off max rarity decks from the Pokemon TCG tier 1 decks, top level decks for you guys. Before we get started, this is going to be the second appearance for Gengar VMAX on the channel. During the London Open Cup in the yellow pot, around 500 players, a top 16, 11th place. And shout out to the player, Corentin Medjet. I believe he's from France and this is an awesome deck list because this is a traditional King or VMAX variant with the Hondur, Hondoom, Single Strike Energy, Tower of Darkness, etc. Yeah, before we get started, let's check up on his matchups real quick. Uh, he lost round 1 to Palkia V-Star, which is the best deck of the format, and then, and then he won 8 rounds in a row. And then in round 10, he got his second loss, final round of Swiss, losing to Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. He went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 different RCS variants. And he beat 2 Palkia variants and won the Alga V-Star deck. Okay, pretty good. Shout out to Corentin Medjet from France, pretty cool. Let's get started with the deck list. Let's get started, shall we? Triple Gengar V Max, Gigantamax, Single Strike, Evolution Pokemon, 320 HP. If you're in panic, you need double Darkness Energy to attack 60 times for each of your opponent's Pokemon V and GX in play. And then the main attack, G Max Follow Up, 250 damage. And also, this is a Single Strike traditional variant. So if you have a single strike energy attached to it, it does its attack does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Pretty cool. Then we have four Gengar V, of course, Dark Slumber, two dark two darkness energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. It does 40 damage. And then we have another great attack, Pain Explosion, three darkness energy, it does 190, put three damage counters on this Pokemon. Pretty cool. Gotta love Gengar VMAX. And then we have the engine coming up. Four Handum and four Hondur. So Handum, Evolution Pokemon, 130 HP, single strike. The ability, single strike, roar. And this is one of the best engines around. It used to be the second best deck during Fusion Strike format, behind Mew VMAX, of course. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a single strike energy card and attach it to one of your single strike Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. If you attach energy to a Pokemon in this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. And if you have multiple in play, you could use it multiple times. Then we have Darkness Fang, one colorless and one darkness energy, and does 50 damage. And then of course, we have the Hondur. And now that I think of it, let me do a quick checkup on his deck list. Okay, I was right. He's only playing three copies of the Hondoom, so sorry about that. <laughs> they didn't mean to flex the fourth copy. We'll put it to the side. So in his deck list, he's only playing three Hondooms. And then we have Double Crow Battle V. It's very necessary because this deck has a lot of inconsistency issues and you do tend to get stuck a lot when you're sequencing so Crobat V helps you fix that once upon a time this was like my go-to deck back in the days <laughs> and when I used to play just one Crobat V I was always prize there so it makes sense why you have to play two and the reason you play two is because the ability Dark Accent when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench 
In round two, you have six cards in hand. And then he's taking the one rating on Halucha, um, making his first appearance on the channel. The ability Big Match, as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, your opponent's attacks, do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon VMAX. Looking at his matchups, the only VMAX deck he played against was in round 10 against Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, excluding me VMAX, but you're already hitting that with weakness. He lost to that one VMAX matchup, so I have a feeling that it was probably a little irrelevant, but it's just my opinion. Cool tech though. And then the last Pokemon, Manaphy, the ability Wave Veil, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. So, this is just protection from the Greninja in Water decks and other Road decks such as Chelteon VMAX and Rapid Strike Ushifu VMAX. And that is the Pokemon lineup. Pretty cool. You gotta love me some alternate arts. Seeker Rare, of course. I'm expecting Giratina V to have a big drop <laughs> eventually. It's not a secret, it's just an alternate art. Moving on with the stadiums Tower of Darkness, single strike. Once during, once during your turn, or each player's turn, discard one single strike card and drop two cards. Another fantastic tech, two jammer. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, all tools in the active are negated. One pal pad. Shuffle two supporters back into the deck. A great way to recycle some of your boss orders. Only three Cramomatic. Discard one item card, flip a coin. If it hits, search for any card in your deck and add it to your hand. Pretty amazing because we do play Battle VIP Pass. One of the best cards to draw in your opening turn. If you draw your first turn, you may search for two Pokemon, basic, and put it onto the bench. Great way to set up the Honduras. And then we are playing three switches. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Staple. We are playing only three Urn of Vitality. Shuffle up to two single strike energy cards. Find your discard pile into your deck. Beautiful. Only three Quick Ball. Discard one card. Search for a basic Pokemon. Most of the time it's King RV and Crobat V. And of course the Hondur if you don't draw into the Battle VIP Pass first time. One of my favorite cards in the game, for Ultra Ball. Discard two cards and search for any Pokemon in your deck and add it to your hand. And that is the item. Up next, supporters. Taking the one Bird Keeper. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, draw three cards. Two boss orders. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. We do play Palpat to recycle all of this. Only two Marnie, hand disruption. Each player shuffles their hand and put it in the bottom of their deck. And if you do, your opponent will draw four cards and I'll draw five. And then we have four Professor's Research. Pretty aggressive. Let's card your hand, draw seven cards. And then we have three Hiding Energy. If you attach it to a Dark type Pokemon, your opponent's Dark type retreat cost has no retreat cost. <laughs> so you're able to free retreat, pivot around, and so on. And then, yeah, that was pretty repetitive. And then we have Single Strike Energy. Single Strike card. Amazing card. If this card is attached to a Single Strike Pokemon, your 
your attacks do 20 more damage and is considered a darkness and fighting type energy. Pretty cool. And of course, you can only attach it to single strike Pokemon. And that is the deck. And that is the deck. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment below. Shout out to the player from France, Quarantine Majet, with his top 16 finish at the London Open Cup. Until next time, peace.